Roblox is one of the few games that is highly not optimized. I'm currently running an R9 5950X and an RTX 4070 Ti Super, and I still have a problem of lag inside of Roblox Rivals and Roblox here. The very first thing you want to do here is you want to go inside Roblox Rivals here. You want to go to settings here. You want to disable all of these. Disable shadows, disable textures, disable wraps. That's the very first thing to do. That's pretty simple there. And then you also want to make sure that your settings inside of Roblox is on a 3. I found that anything lower than 3 will cause lag problems in movement games like Roblox Rivals or Arsenal, and anything above a 3 causes more strain. The very first thing you guys want to do is go down and download this really cool thing called Block Trap. Should be the very first link in this video description here. And it does literally what it says here. Enhances your Roblox and it's free. Once you download Block Trap, you're gonna want to run it as a minister as it gives it priority access here. You wanna go to Confer Settings. Don't touch anything here. Go to Engine Settings and go from here. Allow Block Trap to manage fast flags. That's something we'll get into later in this video. You have a whole section about that. Allow anti angless to one. Basically makes the edges a little bit less soft to reduce performance on the CPU. Disable player, sh player shadows. Same thing, removes the graphical of the shadows. Disable post-processing effects. If a game has post-processing on it, removes it. Disable terrain textures, removes those. And set this frame rate to basically 99999 because this is what basically helps you so much here. By removing Roblox's native FPS, if your computer can go above 244, it will go above 244. For example, my computer being able to hit upwards of 1,000 in some Roblox games here. Now, if prefer lighting technology, you guys can mess with this. But keep in mind that each one of these, phase two and phase three, uses more resources up on your computer, which can lower your FPS. I use Voxel One because most games don't need anything else there. Keep pre-save render quality off because that can cause problems with your monitors and rescaling aspects here. Rendering mode, you guys can choose whatever one you want, but keep in mind each one it goes up. So 11, uh, it might be 12, depending on what you card you guys are using. Higher numbers require more resources as it's newer technology. And I found that 10 gives me about 200 more FPS. Texture quality, you guys can use either one or lowest. Lowest gives you the lowest quality. It basically removes textures of things that don't need to be seen, such as the photos inside of Roblox Rivals. You wanna disable full screen, you can enable this as well if you want. Doesn't matter here, guys. Now, the next part we're going to get into here, guys, is a fast flag editor here. Now, this is something that I do not recommend doing unless you know what you're doing. And I will leave a link to my Discord server, which will have all these fast flags I have here. You guys can just go in, copy and paste by add new, import Drygon, and then just copy and paste them in there and then hit OK. Once you get all that in there, there's one other thing that I recommend you guys can do to get even more FPS and lower ping inside of your Roblox games. Now, this option is not free, and that's using the Row Pros Plus features here allowing you to basically sort by ping and server location here. I recommend getting this if you guys have $3 a month to spend. If you guys don't, don't buy it. But basically allows you to go into a game and then basically search for the game based on region. So for example, I'm in the Florida here, so I can search by Miami, Florida region here and get the lowest ping server, which right now is probably like 28 ping. And it will be a lot better and higher quality than playing on a random server there. Remember, we have a Discord server down below. And also feel free to choose one of these videos here and subscribe.